would see when you play Indiana? Because I know some of those games have been tight. Uh, no, they're kind of like, they've changed up a lot, honestly. Uh, not too much, but just different things. Uh, even from the spring, they've changed up some things. So, uh, what, we've, what we've seen in the spring from our offense is more like what I'm guessing Indiana would be. I mean, I don't really know yet. Yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's, been, it's been pretty different. You might have already been asked about this, but uh, Zach Turner getting a scholarship. Uh, what's that like to see a walk-on guy in your linebacker room get that scholarship? I mean, it's just great. I mean, it's just an exceptional feeling. Um, you know, just seeing guys like that, you know, their hard work being paid for. Hey, Chris, what has Malik Harrison done to kind of set himself apart from some of the other backup linebackers? Uh, I mean, not, nothing, you know, too crazy. I mean, it's just, you know, when you have that type of body, I don't call him backup guy because at any moment I mean, his pace has shown. Uh, he's not, not really a backup guy who's going to start if he's ready to have a turn. So um, we have a lot of depth at the right? It's going to be exciting to see. You've been asked this many times about the transition to the middle linebacker now, but it seems to be pretty close. How do you feel about it? I feel great, you know, uh, I was like riding a bike. Uh, it's going to be a little rough for the first one. I'm starting to iron things out now. I feel like that's not strong. Co Co Coach, Davis said that. Coach Davis said that Barron and Justin and Tuff were all kind of competing at that middle linebacker spot. What have you seen from those guys? How are those guys pushing each other? Uh, you know, it's, it's a competition. So, you know, you want to see, you know, good things and bad things from each, each one of those guys, but, you know, I mean, they just go out every day and come to work. So you know, I'm excited, you know, whoever, whoever that guy is going to be, you know, I'm, I'm going to feel comfortable because all those guys come out every day and spill it. The Cougars have a lot of freshmen getting their black stripes off tonight. Who has stood out to you out of that class um, here in camp who's done the um, Well, I mean, you guys already know about the guys that already have their stripes off. But, you know, for the guys that have not got their stripes off of them, um, Haskell, uh, Garrett, you know, he's, He's, he's fun to watch, you know, especially for me playing linebacker. I love when those, those young young guys come out and just give it their all. Give it their all. He's not perfect yet, and uh, once he you know learn the defense a little better, I think for me at least, I like to see him take, get his strength off next. So, Chris Urban announced that Mike Hill is suspended. Kind of, he didn't give it a, a length of time, but to lose him for any time, how does that affect your defense? Uh, it definitely affects you know um, just the experience, but you know we have a lot of depth. On the defensive line, as everyone knows. So, um, you know, we should, we should be all right. Is it fun to play behind those guys? I mean, with oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, with our offense, you know, it, we haven't really, as, as linebackers, seen, you know, the rewards from it. Okay. Because, I mean, we have the type of offensive line that can block, you know, pretty pretty good one on one with those guys. So, I mean, the other teams, I mean, I don't know how they're going to do it. So, uh, I can't wait till we play those other teams. Chris, I asked you. We talked at the end of last year about your pregame routine and how you wanted to catch a bunch of, bunch of passes so you were ready to pick one off. Is that, do you have to change that now that we've got a new position in this defense where you continue to do that same thing? No, I'm, no, I'm still going to be out there trying to make plays. So I'm still, you know, every day before practice, I do that, my same routine. So, you know, one thing about me, I don't change my routine if it's a good routine. Um, you know, it ended up working out for me last year. So. I'm gonna continue that. You know a lot more about the position than I do, even if I've watched a lot of football. Do you, you <laughs> see as many, you know, chances coming your way to make those plays like you want to to step in front of one, as to borrow your phrase? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go out there and you know, and, and do what I have to do, and uh, hopefully a quarterback makes a mistake and <laughs> throw my way. And, uh, I'm gonna try to capitalize off of it. These guys yeah, probably asked you this already, but do you do you feel like a middle linebacker by this point? Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. And, and how does that? Feel, I mean, I know you're Chris Worley, but how does that feel different than the role you've had before? Uh, you know, like I told him, it was just like riding a bike. You know, it was kind of rough at first, you know, just you know, getting everyone else lined up. But, you know, I'm to the point now where it's, 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 it's going smooth. What are the things that Coach Davis has brought to this linebacker group? What has he taught you guys and helped you guys develop? Uh, just how to be, you know, um, uh, the next level pro. You know, we, we, we focus on, like, being pros and, how we take care of our stuff, but he's really focused on, you know, um, how to take notes at the next level, you know. It's, and it's, it's like, you know, when you come here, you know how to go high school hard. Um, and then you get here and they teach you how to go college hard. 
and uh, and then they teach you how to go and fail hard. Like um, you know, as you know, you can't go the whole year. You know, practice on the pads on the hit, and then that's how to practice like an NFL player. But like he's taking like the next level of like teaching us how to take like NFL notes and like meeting rooms and things like that. So that's been fun. How does he differ in the way he coaches to how Coach Fickle might have coached you guys? Uh, you know, Coach Fick. You know, he was so tied into you know everything Ohio State. I mean, Coach Davis is an Ohio State guy, but it's different when you play here, you know. But you know, Coach Davis, he's he's more like I'm gonna tell you what you have to do and get it done. So he he definitely has that NFL. Um, feel to him, uh, sort of. I mean, I, I mean, it's kind of hard to to explain. Chris, are you getting uh, kind of tired of the questions about the transition?